Hi, this is Esther Lynn. Today I'm going to compare the Think Tank Photo Tripod Manager and this Porter Brace Wheeled Tripod Case. Uh, they both retail for the same price, about $350. And um, yeah, let's get to it. Uh, uh, the reason why I'm holding this like this is because it doesn't stand on its own, but as you can see, the Think Tank Photo Tripod Manager does. So let's go over the cases. I gotta put it down, otherwise it'll fall over. All right. Let's open up the video tripod manager first, okay? Uh, right now we have, it have a zipper cover, which help keeps this from getting beat up in transit. All right, and we have these two straps that hold up the lid, which is helpful so you can look at it without the lid falling over. And they're also adjustable if you do want it to flip all the way down, or if you want it to say, if you wanted to do it at this angle, etc. All right, and um, I know everyone's production requirements are different, but for our needs, um, we have two light stands, a full-size tripod and a monopod. Up top here, we have put in two small LED lights and some chargers and things for them. Up here, we have a extension cable, XLR cable, and various tools and clamps, tape, things that we need for our shoots. So inside, there's these two bumpers that you can adjust there's Velcro along the side. You can put them in different places depending on where you need the support. And there is a strap here, adjustable, to keep everything solid. All right, for moving around in transit. I um, really like that it is uh, rectangular in shape. Um, it puts a lot, keeps a lot more stuff in it. And then this lid organizer is actually really, really handy. Um, as well as this divider, because uh, sometimes you can put the cables here too. We happen to put lights in it. The interior is about 41 inches long. This, everything can be moved depending on what you have. If your sticks are bigger than mine, you can just take this panel out and adjust it. Um, same with these, they move. Everything in here is adjustable. Uh, it's pretty great. Uh, one thing I really, really like about this case is how many handles there are on the side. Um, there's somewhere to grab the case from every angle. There's a handle at the bottom, there's handles on the sides, and on the back side right here. Handle, 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 handle. It's pretty great. The other thing that's of note is that the wheels here um, have this reinforcement around the side, which is great because uh, airlines tend to beat up your stuff quite a bit. All right, now I'm gonna close this up. We've traveled with this about three times cross country. Um, in many conditions, snow and etc. And it looks pretty brand new still. Um, what I really like about this too on the outside is the ID window is huge, making it very easy to find your bag and keep all of your information here. Um, there is a security lock inside here, so you can lock your bag up. And uh, yeah, and it's pretty sturdy. I mean, you just think about how, how much we travel and um, there's these great little rubber bumpers down here that keep it from getting too beat up as well on the bottom. But we haven't, I mean, for three trips, it looks like we just got it. Earlier I was mentioning that it stands on its own as opposed to the Porter Brace. And this is really important because when you have a bunch of equipment and you're just trying to corral everything, being able to keep everything standing and together is really important. Not having to lean your bags on anything is really helpful. Um, so this is actually really great. And the exterior is only 44 inches. And this one's actually, even though it says it's 44 and a half, it's closer to like 46 and with the handles, maybe like 47 or 48. Um, this is kind of the widest the back seat of a car is for, for a standard car. So if you're traveling, you have to keep that in mind as well, is that this one's a little easier to transport because that bag is really hard to fit into a standard vehicle. Now we're gonna put everything that was in the Think Tank bag in the Porter Brace bag so you can compare the, how it fits everything in the same space. Doo -doo. Mm -hmm. 
The problem I'm noticing already is that the outside pouch here is thin and unprotected, whereas here, in this case, in the Think Tank, it's all padded. Um, if I decide to put my lights on the outside here, they're not going to make it in one piece. Uh, the other thing is, even though there are two outside pockets on this, there's one on this side as well. Let's see where the zipper is, there it is. This is also not protected. Generally, when you're keeping track of all of your gear, it's better to keep them all in one place. The fact that the pockets up here are mesh makes it a lot easier for me to see what I have and make sure I didn't forget anything. So I'm trying to figure out where to put this, and I think I'm going to put those cables in there. And then all my tools and clamps I will put on the outside of the other this one. Okay. All right. Already, uh, the zippers aren't quite as fluid as the think tank, and the strap here inside to secure is less adjustable. This one is just a single Velcro strap like this here in the port brace. We're in the think tank. What I liked about the strap is that they clip in together. There is a soft layer of protection so it doesn't scratch up your tripod and then you can still adjust the length here. All right. Now that it's closed, you can see there are only two grab points on this case, just at the top and here. Um, there's no strap on the bottom, there's no strap on the sides here. There are uh, hooks for a shoulder strap, but uh, even though I ordered it and on the page it says it comes with a shoulder strap, it didn't ship with one. And honestly, I think it would be too heavy to hold on your shoulder. Uh, fully, uh, with that load that we have in right now, I would say it's about 40 pounds of equipment, 45 pounds of equipment. Um, this has gone on two trips with us so far, and it was during the second trip we noticed that it had already ripped, so we had to tape over it um, so that it would not continue to rip. And that's actually why we ended up seeking out the Think Tank bag, because we knew after the second trip that this wasn't going to cut it. Down here, the wheels are actually really mobile and smooth, and they work really well, except that they stick out pretty far from the body of the bag, which makes them uh, susceptible to a lot of damage during air travel, compared to the wheels here, which are nice and secure. And the greatest, one of my favorite things about Think Tank bags is that all of the parts are user replaceable. So if this ends up breaking, or if this ends up breaking, I just write to Think Tank and they'll send me a new one. So that's my review of the Think Tank video tripod manager and the Port Race wheeled tripod bag. Thanks for watching.